Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bally at Brand. So I've got another episode for the Surviving Hexican YouTube channel. And thanks to everyone for all of the great support. So in this video, what I want to talk about is how do you spend your time, right? There's, there's not many guarantees in life, if any, right? But the one thing that we do know is that time itself is not infinite, you know? It's finite, and most people in general are working uh, full-time jobs or X amount of hours per week so they can afford the bills, things like this. But it's how you spend your time outside of the work, outside of the relationship, things like this, that can really make or break you, right? Um, I used to spend a lot of my time just watching YouTube videos on entrepreneurship, on you know, people that were successful in the areas that I was interested in, right? Was making money, wealth, and success. And then I realized like, man, I've been watching this person's content or all of these successful people's content for such a long time, but I'm not doing anything. I, I'm not doing anything with my own time besides mentally masturbating, watching other people be successful, and then somehow, you know, thinking that I'm becoming more successful or learning more because I'm watching someone else, you know? And so what I've learned for myself specifically is that instead of using social media as a, like a crutch or something to feel special, right? Everyone wants to, to, you know, have some sort of significance, feel special, things like this. But a lot of people, they're spending their time trying to appease others or just in general, uh, hours and hours and hours a day on uh, social media, reading other people's feed, things like this, consuming versus maybe doing something more productive with their time. The, the whole reason that I started my, my first YouTube channel, and uh, that, was at least, that, was, that was at least like 12 years ago, but the whole reason that I did that in the first place was almost to like be like a, like a, like a documentary, like a, a lifetime history of my life. You know, I could, I could do uh, recording videos and whatever kind of videos, just random videos sometimes, and then I could put that on my YouTube channel and that way I would always have a, a record, right? So if I died or whatever, at least there would be that legacy or that history that people could kind of go back and just see, you know, who was this person and, and what did they do, right? Because when you die, I mean, it, it's something to think about. It's something to think about that, hey, you know, when you die, like, what do the people say at your funeral? You know, are they saying that, oh, hey, so-and-so was... Uh, a giver, they were educational, they were, you know, a positive light in this world uh, to other people as an example. Or do you, you know, do you in this in this game theory of a thought, do you die and then people kind of just forget about you like a week later, things like that. So that was always something that I had thought about from a very young age, as far as YouTube goes, was that, hey, you know, I want to help educate in whatever way I can, right? In my, uh, <laughs> in my first videos, it was, uh, it was cooking because I was just passionate and uh, not even, you know, cooking per se. It wasn't super extentful. But the point is, is, you know, do something that you love and maybe instead of consuming all day, especially stuff like television, it's, it's just the worst for your mind and subconscious. But instead of consuming television all day or, uh, you know, even music all day that can kind of just reprogram your mind um, or even social media all day. Maybe my recommendation might be to try the opposite of what you're doing, right? Because if you want to have success and you have a specific goal in mind, but you are not achieving it with the things that you're doing uh, at that time currently, well, sounds like if you keep repeating it, repeating what you're doing, you're going to get the same results. You know, the definition of insanity would to think the otherwise. So instead of doing the same thing and expecting a different result, my, you know, suggestion for people that actually were, were curious about bettering themselves and, and having more of an impact, just do the opposite, which is instead of consuming, start producing. Okay. And then the, the other thing that I'll say real quick too, is for someone like myself that is producing, um, I'm doing things that just aren't scaling, right? So my, my YouTube channel now has over 4,000 followers on my main Valley at Brand YouTube channel, as you can see in the bottom on my links.com slash Valley at Brand. But 
I think about how I was spending my time previously and how I've been spending it recently. And it's literally, uh, you know, that I was very proud of responding to ev- you know, each and every single comment that people had posted and questions that they had asked. And then I just started thinking like, fuck man, this is not scalable at all. And someone like Richard Hart, who's the reason I started doing all this in the first place, he's the one that had that same dilemma and that same problem as well. And obviously it's a good problem, right? Especially when it help other people. It's it's a, uh, you know, it's it's something I'm grateful for and something I'm happy for to have all of these comments, to have all of these people that are supporting because they like the information. But then I have to ask myself like, okay, does this help me the most by just answering this one person's question or can I maybe start gathering a few questions that people have in the comments and then the next time I do a live stream just answer the the questions there that way it's not just a a one to one response but it's you know now it's one question that someone has and it's going out to thousands of people after the stream itself ends and and people rewatch it so that's something that I personally had to take as like a, a task to myself and like something that when I looked at what I've been doing with my time it's like okay you know I used to do uh, respond to every single comment when it was just beginning and before my channel had had some significant growth but now it's just it started a hockey stick ever since I crossed a thousand subscribers it started a hockey stick and now it's at over 4,000 almost 300 and so I just want to encourage people to consider what you're doing with your time because once again with social media we get this we almost get this satisfaction that because you are like part of a community right whether that be your friends or whatever social media community um, because you're a part of a community and maybe you're contributing right through uh, through comments and posts and, and sharing your ideas we almost get this uh, this false sense of of satisfaction because we think that we've achieved something. And I'm here to say that most people haven't, right? Most people, they're they're just putting in their their thoughts and their opinions. And uh, the the point is, is that maybe they could spend their time uh, better if they had thought about how to educate someone uh, and how to teach someone that something can learn versus just sharing their opinions the whole time on, on something else that's probably not even relevant and probably not even going to benefit their lives, but they just have an opinion on it and they want to voice the opinion. So I, uh, I think about things like this, right? Because ever since I was a very young kid, you know, I'd, I'd be, I'd be taking a bath and like, it's, it's as Richard says in sci vibe, you, uh, they call it shower thoughts because generally that's when your mind is kind of, you know, not closed, but that's when your mind is like calm, it's quiet. You're not usually listening to, uh, other stimulus, like you're not usually listening to music or, or videos. So it gives your mind a time to just, you know, relax and be more tranquil, which is great. That's where some of the best thoughts can come from. But I remember like, you know, being in, uh, in the bathtub when I was younger as a kid and being like, man, I want success in this life. And I want, you know, not only financial abundance because my parents had struggled having four boys. Uh, but I had wanted like, Like, how the hell do I help people? You know, like, what can I do with these talents that I'm born with or these things that I'm passionate about? And like, how can I help someone? Because once again, what it comes down to is, uh, so everyone, oh, my other phone's right there. So everyone's got a, uh, a smartphone, right? For the most part. And so you can use this device, which has a camera on the back and a camera on the front. You can use that device in this technology for benefiting and for teaching uh, because I truly believe that people do have a story to tell and they do have uh, something that they're knowledgeable in that another person could benefit from. It's just like within the Hex community, this crypto community that I'm in, I'm a big proponent of, you know, maybe, maybe people might be a little bit nervous, uh, wanting to start making videos or starting to stream and provide content, but it's like the more the merrier and through, if, if you have less ideas in like a, in a space in general, well, you know, you only have so many ideas and so much growth 
from that. But if you have an absolute abundance, overwhelming uh, amount of ideas, then now you can kind of like pick and choose and, and the actual the free market itself and what you you tend to discover and grow from becomes more quick because now you've got more people working on something uh, as opposed to less people with fewer ideas. So that's kind of something I want to encourage people to look into because um, I used to find myself once again going on Twitter and you know even though I'm retired, things like this have more time on my hands. If I, if I'm just spending it hours a day, you know, on the social media, refreshing the feed or just seeing what, you know, what new opinions people have, stuff like that, then maybe I'm not benefiting and maximizing what I could be doing. And then the last thing I'll say about that is for me, I've gotten a lot of fulfillments out of helping people and specifically like the most addicting thing ever, like you know, nothing else comes to this kind of feeling. But uh, especially since my intention with starting a YouTube channel was kind of as a passion and, hey, you know, maybe this this 12-year-old kid making a Smucker's Uncrustable, guess what? Maybe someone didn't think to, uh, <laughs> to, to take a damn cup and put it around and cut off the edges. You know, maybe someone can benefit from it. But specifically since I started, you know, growing up in the channel and posting like crypto and and educational uh, information for people to, to look into. Now I see so many comments and so many thank you messages in my comments. And they're saying, oh, thank you. You know, you, you, uh, you benefit me here or you answered this question that I had here very clearly. And that's the kind of stuff that feels good. You know, like once again, people like uh, Richard Hart, um, once you've got all the money in the world, you know, once you've got billions and billions of dollars and and you can't ever outspend that amount of money, like you'll die before you could ever outspend that kind of money that you have, then it's like, well, what do you do? You know, because once you have the money problem solved, then you've got you've got what everyone dreams for and what everyone wants, which is to not be working for someone else and to just have the the amount of you know time and life that they have to do what they want on their own terms and not on someone else's terms. So if you're lucky enough to have good investments, you know, say like Hex or Pulsechain.com, and you're, you know, lucky enough to have that kind of freedom of how you want to spend your time, then I would really suggest that people do some introspection, do some writing, right? Look at my other video about writing down, journaling, speaking aloud, visualizing, kind of, once again, visualizing it in like, meditating on on the the future that you want and, and kind of where you want that to be and then maybe you'll you'll start to feel more uh, fulfilled if you actually do practice those things because once again just watching other people do the videos or just uh, contributing to social media and whatnot generally might not help as much as say you know changing other people's lives through that form of content or through some sort of scale that doesn't just go to one person, but goes to many different people. So it's a great feeling when I see the people uh, put in the thank you messages. I used to uh, screenshot all of them, and now they're just so abundant that uh, you know it, it's hard to keep up with. And uh, so I'm really grateful for that. But once again, I encourage everyone to uh, just get out there and be brave. I mean, hey, I'm a lot more comfortable behind the, the camera doing this than I am in person. But Hey, at least I know that I can do this and that once again, there's like no excuses, right? People that have something that they can uh, teach and educate others with, just get out or sorry, get out there and do it. Someone's going to want to hear it. You know, I used to think, you know, we can be our worst enemies, but it's like, man, who would want to hear me? Or you start to like self doubt and self judge. And oftentimes it's, worse in your head than it ever would be if you actually practiced it and if you actually did it. So I encourage people to not let that fear of uncertainty uh, get to them, but instead push through that and at least at least give it a shot. You know, at least try something like that that can benefit other people or that can kind of give you something to work on and to focus on. And uh, you might find out that it's a lot easier once you actually do it versus thinking about doing it. 
Okay, so that's the video. Once again, at the very bottom, you can see it says, be careful how you spend your time. Your time is finite. And so for me, someone that's retired, maybe, you know, maybe five months ago, something like that, I started to realize this is where I'll start to end the video. But I started to realize that, man, I'm spending all my time in this community. And honestly, I'm kind of neglecting some of the, the time with, say, um, relationships, right? Whether it's like my family, my brothers, uh, the mom, the dad, et cetera, girlfriend, things like this. Um, there's a point of, of like, okay, this is great. This is beneficial. And then there's a point where it's like, okay, am I being balanced here? Because I don't care how good of a thing you think. I don't, you know, I don't care how uh, good you think something is. There's always overdoing something like you can literally overdose on water, but you thought it was good. You thought it was healthy. So like for myself, I've kind of realized like, man, I'm looking at the screen time. I'm looking at some of the the sleep data and things like this. And it's like, I'm spending literally like every waking minute in the community or listening to someone else's content or, and this is the thing I'm start, I'm going to start doing less. It's just lurking more and chatting less in the chat uh, because you know, you got to really maximize what's beneficial for you. And if you are doing that and you're giving back and you're trying to provide, be careful also at burning the candle at both ends and realizing when to take a break from something and when to kind of, you know, have that equilibrium where like that osmosis kind of happens and then it just settles where now it's like, okay, we're not in a super unbalanced thing here. We're not in a super unbalanced thing there, but now we're back to equal and we've got kind of just like a, like a circle that keeps rotating. So that's it, everyone. Hope everyone enjoys this. Once again, we've got more content to make, uh, especially now that I'm here at this setup. Uh, my room my room studio is not all the way set up yet, but it's getting there. I'm looking forward to that because I'm going to have the stand-up desk and whatnot too, which is going to just save me more time and, and be more efficient when I'm doing this. So thank you, everyone. I'll see you on the next one, okay?